In this video, we're going to learn how to install WordPress automatically using cPanel, and in particular, a function in your cPanel called Fantastico. So just log into your cPanel and scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see this blue smiley icon right here, one that says Fantastico Deluxe. Now, Fantastico is included free on virtually all cPanel hosting accounts. It's an amazing application that lets you install very, very complex programs with just a single click. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Fantastico Deluxe. And this is the main Fantastico Deluxe screen. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see that besides WordPress, you'll also find a lot of other useful open source free PHP scripts that you can install onto your website. For example, there's OS Commerce, there's Zencart, there's Joomla, there's several wiki scripts, and even some forum scripts. So since you're going to install WordPress, scroll up and click on WordPress right here. Next, click on New Installation. Okay, so this is the main setup or configuration screen for your new WordPress blog. And there's just a few fields here that you need to fill out, but the most important one is the field that asks you where you want to install WordPress. So for most cases, if your website is going to be completely powered by WordPress, then you want to install WordPress in the root directory, whereby you can leave this field blank right here. But if you want to install WordPress to a particular folder on your website, for example, if you want to install it in a folder called blog, then you can just enter the directory name blog right here. And I'm going to go ahead and install this in the root directory of my website. So I'm going to, so I'm going to leave that field blank. In my case, I usually just enter admin in the admin access field and give it a password. And when that's done, you just need to uh, put in your admin nickname. Now, this is the name that would appear under every page or post in your blog that you create. And it's not the same as your admin access data. So you may want to enter your real name right here. And you will also want to enter your email address in this field as well. And it's very important that you, this is an uh, email address that, you get, that you're going to check on a regular basis because this is the same address that will receive notifications from WordPress whenever you have uh, comments uh, to check and things like that. And you may also want to enter your site name and a description of your site. Okay, so when that's done, just click on Install WordPress. And so it says here that the MYSQL database has been created, and this is the name of the WordPress database. And it says right here that this is uh, just some confirmation data uh, that I've chosen to install WordPress in the root directory of my website, and this is the access URL. And of course, in this example, I'm just using your actual URL. Uh, but this is just a sample, so what you would do is put in your own URL. And uh, next, I'm going to click on Finish Installation to finalize the setup and upload all the files to the web server. Okay, success. So your new WordPress blog has been installed for you. And you'll see the information that you entered earlier. So in my case, I'm going to log in with my username admin and my password and the full URL that you can log in right here. Okay, and now... Uh, if you want to have a copy of the installation details, you can have this sent to your email address right here. Just enter send uh, email, and this will send you a complete copy of uh, where WordPress was installed, username, password, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the WordPress dashboard. And right here you can see I have successfully logged into my new WordPress blog. And you can see that the site name that I've entered is right here. And if you want to preview your WordPress blog, then just click on the link that says Visit Site. And here you can see the default WordPress installation theme. And this is how WordPress will look each and every time you install it before you add a custom theme. And see, that's how easy it is to install WordPress. 